Hi Aquarius, this is your reading for July. And something just flipped over. Okay, the High Priestess, our major arcana. I associate this uh, with Pisces, Virgo, and Cancer. <laughs> so I feel like some of you with this number two are going to have a big decision to make. Um, it's almost like you're weighing your options, but you're kind of uh, in observation mode. You know, she um, could be a male also, but it's kind of like you are getting in touch with what it is that you want, but you're kind of sitting back and some of you, I feel like by listening to your intuition, your intuitive powers, your psychic abilities may also be increasing. Um, I feel like something is development or in developing, I'm sorry, in development. So let me just see here. So I feel like the balance between the dark and the light is going to be important. And I feel like there's something about secrets, something getting revealed. I feel like somebody's holding back some information. This may not be you, but this may be somebody around you, or this may be affecting you, or holding back like their feelings towards you. This may be in love or romance, or maybe you are holding back your feelings towards somebody else. So I'm going to put this back in the deck. I'm hearing on reserve. Something is on reserved or reservation. So this may also be indicative of traveling. Some of you may be traveling. But I get also higher learning. I feel some of you are going to be studying something, maybe even going back to school. Uh, doesn't necessarily have to be like college. It can be taking an online course or learning something in your local community, learning a craft. But there's an increase of knowledge is what I feel. So what maybe you were in the dark about gets illuminated or somebody shares something secretively, secretively with you. And maybe asks you to hold it in confidence. So as you know, if you watch my readings, when a card flies out, I always go back in. If it doesn't show up in the main spread, and I will pull the card in front and the card behind. So let me just refocus here, Aquarius. July 1st through the 31st, 2017. Yes, for those that are watching, those that are watching, most important messages. Okay, let's take a look. All right, let's see what comes up. Okay, we have the devil, the nine of swords. The Five of Wands, the Two of Cups in reverse. This just came out too for Aries. The Nine of Pentacles also in reverse. I'm sorry, it wasn't Aries, it was Gemini. These two cards just came out for Gemini. I wonder if there's some affiliation with a, a Gemini. We do have swords here. So Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra may be of significance. Also, we do have uh, the cups. Uh, there's something with love, I feel, or battling with love. Uh, and I feel like... Capricorn may be of significance. Let's see what's underneath the three. 
the Three of Cups. Okay, so let me just make sure that you can see this here. And let me go back and get the card, the High Priestess, and see what is around the High Priestess. Because I almost forgot to do that. Okay, let's see where is the High Priestess. I'm going to be... Well, maybe it was right at the beginning. I'm sorry. I just like to do this though on camera. Where? Oh, there she is. Okay. Wow. Okay, so let me, uh, I'm going to kind of adjust this here, and then I'm sure you can see this. Wow, okay, so besides Capricorn that's standing out, I do feel like the water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio may have uh, some meaning, and I'm also... Yeah, I mean, there's there's something going on here where I feel like there are battles. And I feel that for some of you, this is a big decision that you are going to be making in July. And I feel like it's also, you know, the devil here. I feel like there is somebody is trying to move on from a situation, but it's been very difficult. Almost as if uh, you're having a, a hard time letting go of something that just keeps you wrapped up you know, in your thoughts, um, especially here, I feel like there's a very strong kind of uh, physical connection, but I feel that with this, it's like there's a need to break free from something that is not, you know, it's kind of just keeping you almost captive. With the nine of swords here like this is next to the the devil and often for me this could also be uh that there's a lot of competition going on around you so whether this is competition in the workplace competition for a an opportunity but i also feel that you know you are kind of battling some um, inner demons when I look at this that I feel like w what's been in the dark there's something that comes to light as I stated earlier with the high priestess something gets illuminated I feel like it's letting go of the things in your life that are not serving you or a person that is not serving you or the past. I feel that there may be somebody that is having a hard time letting you go. But I feel that there's an opportunity for love to come in. So... Some of you, I feel like there has been a breakup. There's been a lot of arguing and fighting and things not manifesting like you're not happy or you're the one that's been putting a lot of energy into this relationship and you feel like you're not getting something, 
you know, from the other person or the other partnership. Because this can be in work. It can also be in money where you feel like you're getting drained. Somebody is either draining your energy, your finances are getting drained, something is one-sided. You know, you were hoping to kind of work together and it's just, there's something that's been kind of, uh, there's like um, some upheaval, a shakeup that has occurred. But I feel like that this, like there's another opportunity that is coming in and I feel like, you know, you are having to decide between or either finding balance between the dark and the light in your life, like getting grounded is going to be very important. But I also feel that there's an opportunity for you to really grow, to manifest, to start creating something. This may even be, I'm seeing this as a third eye awakening, like an aha moment. This can be very positive. This doesn't have to be, because this is like, there may have been something that was built on a false premise or on there's, you know, there being leaks in a foundation, but I feel like with this three, there's also a lot of growth that is coming in. Now, um... And this is, this growth is going to allow you to repair where the damage has been done, where there were leaks to begin with. So this may have been a relationship, for example, that maybe somebody started and they may have started with you or you may have started with somebody and I feel like there may have still been a third person involved is what I'm hearing with this card next to this. Just remember, every card has its positive and negative. So I feel like for some of you, this can be a partnership where there was something that was misaligned to begin with. So maybe somebody came into your life and said, you know, that they had been dating somebody and it, Still, they were attached to that person. Or maybe you started dating somebody, but there's somebody from your past that you haven't fully healed from or let go. And you have to decide what you want to do. Do you want to start something new? Because I feel like there's an offer coming in. And it could be from a water sign. And that's probably why I picked up Cancer and Pisces in this card. I also did say Virgo. But I, you know, uh, let me just see here a second. Yeah, I feel like there's an offer. There's an offer to possibly move. There's an offer also in love. But there's a decision in love. And for some of you, it's, I'm getting something about a pregnancy. I feel like somebody is going to find out something about a pregnancy that is going to be important. It may even be that uh, somebody's having twins is what I'm hearing and feeling. But, There's, I feel like there is some disharmony or a third person, especially when I'm looking at it like this, when I look at these cards here, I feel like a third person possibly is trying to get in the way of something. This could be... Now that, okay, so this could be in love. But I also feel that if this is in business, I 
feel like there may be a decision to make of whether or not you bring in another person. There's a... So I feel like where, where things possibly have not been going in the direction that you may have wanted to go, I do feel that there is going to be a decision made that you will be making a decision about this situation, whether or not to bring in a third person. Or there may be, I'm getting like mergers and acquisitions. So somebody may have possibly lost a job and there is news coming in. I feel like this could be in security or high security or IT. Uh, but there's another opportunity There's of learning more. So this could, like I said, be going back to school. This could be an offer in work that is coming through, but also an offer in love. And this is also, I feel like um, somebody definitely is traveling. I think someone is going to be, and I'm being pulled in an eastern direction. Someone's traveling east from where you're at. Some of you, I feel like this may also be that there is a third person that comes in to help find the balance. To rebuild, I'm getting rebuilding something. But you have to kind of look at it as there's there's just there's battles that are going on and on and on and on and it's like it's time for that to kind of come to a rest you know like pick your battles is what I'm hearing and there may also be something with addictions oftentimes the devil does come up for me with addictions so I feel like somebody is possibly like the something is affecting a relationship because of an addiction and it can be any kind of addiction. Let me just see if there's anything else that I'm picking up. I just get illumination change, rebuilding. This may even have something to do with a home. There's something being unearthed, like a, a shakeup. Now, this can, in a very positive way, um, be a very strong attraction to somebody that is coming into your life. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Virgo. Like, almost like you see them and, you know, you just, there's fireworks ignited. But I feel like there may be somebody else still in this picture. And for some of you, like I said, there may be a breakup, but you're having a difficult time letting go. And for some of you, it could be that you, you 
want to let go, but the other person is having a difficult time letting you go. But there's, I, I just kind of feel like there's somebody coming in here. But, you know, I think what's important is to really listen to your intuition. Let your intuition be your guide. Let your past history be your guide. Don't ignore or second guess yourself regarding this situation, this partnership, whether, like I said, it's in with um, friends coming in, you know, this could be that you're you're celebrating, you know, you might meet somebody like if you're in the United States at the 4th of July, because I'm seeing this also like as fireworks, you know, that this is, this can be a group getting together, a party, celebrating something, and there's somebody that comes in and you meet them. But... There's also something I feel like you need or it would be beneficial for you to let go of that is either toxic or unhealthy in your life so that you can allow something more positive to come in or uh, someone more positive. I get like higher vibrational level. And they go out, they come in, they go out. You know, it's it's time for you to, to decide, are we going to make this work or is this just it? Is this, is it time for me to move on? And I feel like that there's somebody also on and not stay, you know, in this heaviness. I'm also picking up that someone's traveling, I feel like, to New York City. This may be to celebrate uh, 4th of July since I'm here in the U.S. or to celebrate, get engaged, or maybe attend uh, something important for you or for a group of people. could even be like a reunion or something like that. All right, so these are just some messages that I'm getting. If this does not resonate with you at all, all right, thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.